Okay, the Dyson machine, I'm going to start it up. I know that the beater bar isn't working. This switch here is... Uh, So I'm going to have to take it apart for the switch and also there's no suction so suction coming out of here there's nothing out of there it's possible it's the filter in here also. but this is just okay I'm going to take this all apart and give this thing a good cleaning now let's see if there's actually suction from the motor here. Yeah, there's good suction from the motor. And there's another filter down in, down in there, which I'll be cleaning also. I gotta take this all apart in here to see why it's not uh, coming through on that one. Okay, I'm figuring out why the hose is no suction here. Anyway, there's a trap door here, and on this side, there's this lever here. It was jammed. See, and you pull it see how it swings see how this thing swings here the handle in place it on the machine it pushes down the lever causing the hose on the inside to go to the um, power brush and for some reason when you lift the handle back off this mechanism here wasn't running smooth enough it wasn't uh, it was jamming it so you wouldn't get no suction on the uh, back hose you can see at the back here right here this piece should be in that circle and it's not that's how it's supposed to sit in there now I'm wondering about the other side I can't even see that I'm thinking it, it, it's in there. There's this clip right on the top here. You just take the clip off. There's the power for the, for the brush. And that's dirty. So pull the uh, beater bar out. I got it to the unlock position here. I'm going to pry this piece up and it should disconnect and then the beater bar should come out look at it, it's just wound up with stuff so I'm going to have to take scissors and cut all that out of there I'm just fishing out the lint that's in here because there's lint in behind. And if you're really particular, you just take the screws out and you can get in, in behind here and clean it perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to take the, the body off to have a look at the motor on the uh, power brush. What you need is a, a Torx screwdriver up here and in behind there you're going to find two more screws. One there and one there. On this side, it's got that little belt there. Just take off that screw there and you can get the at the belt. While we've got this apart, I'm going to check the underside of the board here to make sure it's not burnt. And there's the, uh, the breaker switch. After you take the bearing out of the end here, you can put it in the sink and you can give it a scrub. 
I did this because the, the, the bar felt like it had grease on it. I'm going to start taking apart the, uh, the cone and the filter here. So I'm going to wash it in the sink. Here's the first filter. And you take these screws out here. You don't want to rip that. And then this should just... You just pull it back and this should come out. Well, I got all the parts soaking in the sink. I did take off the uh, little spring though and the catch so it wouldn't go down the drain. Now I'm washing the uh, canister filter. To get at the other filter which is inside here, just tilt the machine back here a bit. Okay, I got the two screws out. Now the third screw here. And then I'm going to be having a look at the switch. Okay, here's the inside of the switch mechanism. Here's what I found. When, when this gets pushed up in here, for some reason it jams right in there. See how it's sticking there? So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take out the I'm going to take this mechanism out just like that this little mechanism. It's just too bad that they didn't put a spring in there so I haven't this spring is way too small from the little apparatus. Got a pen. Got the spring from it. Now, yeah, put the spring in there like that. Put this piece back in there. Now we'll try it again. Okay, put the gasket in. And you got the spring in there. Just hold that down. Just line it up. And then you put the screws back in. Just line it up like that. Brush bar is dry, put the bearing back. And then you lock it into place, clip again. Ball filter, make sure it's good and dry too, and you just open it up here and snap it back into place. Okay, I'm going to put the handle back on and we'll see the, the lever work properly now that it's all in place there. There. show you how the breaker works on this machine. See the breaker here on the brush roll? Once it gets jammed it'll uh, it'll shut off the uh, brush roll so it won't burn out the motor. The brush roll is on and then I'll wind it. See it, it shut the brush roll off right now. Okay, I'll unwind it out of the hook. And then I'll restart it and then I'll have to reset it. Brush roll's not on. Push the restart and it's on.